Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Saturday, May 25th, 2024, and the Drunk Poker Root Tis Beer Time. I didn't have a beer on the 242424. There's actually just been 2424. Anyways, it's Memorial Day weekend down there in the States, so we're off this year. The weekends are off. We're, sometimes we line up May 24 and then the Memorial Day long weekend. Anyways, time for beer. So you're at the LCBO the other day, and I was buying some beers, and uh, while well, I was there for Irish cream because I'm off and I need my Irish cream tomorrow. And then I saw this and I'm like, I've had Laker and I've had Laker ice and I've never had Laker red here. I look back in the, the time portal that is my old untapped in 2015. I had Laker red. I said it was decent. 5.5% proudly brewed in Ontario at uh, Waterloo Brewing Company. Pour the bore is worse. Maker, Laker, it's a fucking beer. Uh, used to be it's a buck of beer, but... Uh, Dougie, you ruined that for us, too. What do you think about that, eh? Does anybody really give a shit? No. What we give a shit about is wasting taxpayers' money, but... Whatever, bread and circuses, people, we're here for the beer! Uh, boot doot. I'm trying to explain politics to a kid at work, and I'm trying to be non-partisan, because I think you should try hard to educate young people and, like, you know, to value the their own opinions, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be a better educator. Of young people, for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, today I referred to uh, potatoes as dirt apples. That's how deep into the produce I'm getting. Deep. I called pink lady apples the Cadillac of apples. And we're gonna we're getting some uh, hammock in. I don't know, something. But we're going to be eating some, something. They said it's like a Mexican turnip. I don't know. It's kind of, it smells malty. I, I'm all for it. I like a red ale, so Laker Red. 5.5. Cheers. Make her a Laker. I mean, here's the thing with these, right? Like, they're made to be, again, inoffensive as possible. So, you're not looking to get a ton of flavor out of these. But it is better than regular Laker. I'm definitely getting a bit of, like, caramelly flavor. It does have a bit of that tinny note you get sometimes, that kind of coppery note. Um, it's a cheap beer. And I think with cheap beer, you're looking for inoffensive. You're looking for, will this quench my thirst? Will this help me get drunk? If that's what you're looking for, I mean, that's, yeah, it's a tastier way to do it. Because you could drink the cheap shit, like the Lake Rice, which I would not recommend to anybody. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's a little thin. But it's a mass-produced beer, right? Like, this would be considered, like, is this the fancy Laker beer? I, I don't know. It's It's not terrible. And, I mean, we've had some really bad beers uh, in the last year or so. And I've got some that I'm pretty sure are bad in the fridge right now, just from what I've heard. Um, and so I'm like, I want to try this because I've never tried it. And I like to try things I haven't tried. And, you know me, going to the liquor store, let's buy some stupid beers and drink them. Uh, I'm supposed to be doing something else tonight, but that's a whole other story. Anyways, let's uh, have another beer after this. But... It's not terrible, but unless you're, like, trying to get a check on Untapped or something, there's better Amber Ales out there, right? Honestly, let's not kid ourselves. It's not horrible. I'm not going to sit here and rail against it. There's no off flavors, not really. It's just bland, and that's okay. It's, it is what it is. Cheers. Like, it's not a drain pour. It's a meh beer. You're like, meh, whatever. I had it. I don't ever have to have it again. <laughs> 